Hi guys, it's Emily. Thanks for joining me for an op shop haul. This is my first video of the year and my first video as a first time mum. Um, I had a baby a month ago and he's just over a month old now. So in this haul, you'll see a couple of baby things I'm collecting to do up a few junk journal albums for him and also to use in my memory keeping. So my videos from now on will probably feature it bit more baby related items um, but apart from that I've also got some little golden books and Pam if you're watching there may be a couple in here that you don't have and that you're more than welcome to so stay tuned for the video and have a look at which ones I've got um, along with everything else. Okay so I'm a little bit short on space so I'm going to do the best I've got here and just put anything wherever I can on my desk. Um, so this was my first op shop haul for the year. It's the first time I went out since having a baby. Um, and I'm so happy I was able to get out to the op shops and find a few things. Um, so I'm hoping to get back to that, hopefully on a weekly basis now that I've got a year off work. Um, so I can spend that time with Bob's and then we can also go to the op shops and yeah, have a little explore around and see what we can find. So this one is The Little Book of Motherhood and it cost $1. I thought this was really cute and this can go in one of my baby journals. Um, so they've got little sentiments like the mother is the child supreme parent. Mothers are real people too. What do girls do who haven't any mothers to help them through their troubles? And just, yeah, tiny little sentiments like that. I thought that would be really cool for his journals. Um, this one is Lo A Love Is Born, A New Mother's Keepsake Journal. And that was $2. And this is kind of like a little baby's book. I have read some of it. Um, there's also sections for you to write in if you want, which I won't be writing in. I just got it for the sentiments and also the images in it and also the really nice um, sayings. Begin baby boy to recognize your mother with a smile. So cute. So yeah, there's a lot of cool pictures that I can use in this one. Oh, I love that one. It's like Victoriana based images, which I absolutely love. Like these two, so cute. You'll have to excuse me as well because I've got a cold. I've just come down with it. Um, so I'm sounding a little bit blocked up at the moment. Um, this one, $1 assorted postcards. I saw this and I grabbed it. Thought it was a good buy, which it kind of is. But then today I had a look at Kay's recent op shop haul video. And she got a whole box of postcards for $5. So I'm like, oh, maybe my postcards aren't as good. But um, yeah, it's it's still pretty good. I'd never be able to use the whole box that she got. So check out her video if you're interested to see that. But um, these little postcards are of Ireland, I think it is. Oh, yeah, Irish Republic. Um, yeah, so they're just place postcards that one's pretty cool pretty unique waterford crystal sports trophy a golfing one by the looks of it greetings from ireland so these will be great to use in journals of any sort really Torquay. yeah so yeah quite old by the looks of them um, this one's a matte postcard, which is really unique. And there's one on oh, two on Greece. Those ones are a bit larger than the others. Oh, it's actually got a bit of um, aging on the back. And some souvenir postcard books for France or Paris. And just of the different buildings, the beautiful, beautiful buildings. How awesome would it be to go inside and have a look at these? 
love it everything about it beautiful chandeliers as well so that's just a book of postcards and it also had age spots on the back there that I could see this is a Paris one really good for a shabby chic type journal or a Paris journal or a France journal which I don't don't really intend to make anytime soon um, this cute little book I mainly got it for the cat um, yeah I'm, I'm huge into cats and I, I'm really wanting to do a cat journal um, and it's got some really cool pictures in it like this one all of the mice covering the cat how cool is that um, and there was another cool picture I saw as well well that one's pretty cool um, yeah this one the all of the mice surrounding the little kitty cat and I got this book because it was five books for a dollar so that was one of my five and this little baby records book snuggle pot and cuddle pie it was two dollars I was kind of umming and ahhing about this one I put it back a couple of times thinking oh no I don't really want it um, two dollars for a book it's not not really my thing but then I thought no this will be great to get the little pictures out and to um kind of pop into an, my own baby junk journal it's got some beautiful pictures it really does and they're all matte pages oh, this one I love it's got a little kookaburra with a baby gum nut baby sitting on top of it so just little pictures like that all throughout and it has been written in um in pencil I won't be using it as a baby book I just want it for the photos and also for the sayings hanging in the shelter of the leaves warmed by the sun cooled by the breezes and kept clean and bright by the rain so yeah that that will come in handy I think I'm pretty glad I got that one now for two dollars okie dokie so Pam if you're watching have a look if there's any of these little golden books that you want or that you don't have please let me know and I'll send them to you um, they were five books for a dollar same as this cat book and originally they have um, a 50 cent ticket on the back of them but yeah as I said it was five five books for a dollar so I got every little golden book that they have as soon as I come across golden books I think oh Pam I wonder what she needs um, golden books I like they're not hugely my thing um, but I do want to do some little golden book journals I've done a couple but I want to do more um, so this one is Walt Disney's Disneyland on the air and this one looks like an old one you can have a look at the back cover that shows that it's quite old um, it's got some writing in it somebody's written their name in it but overall I think for its age the pages are quite good they're not torn they don't have any writing in them this one Walt Disney Productions love bug Herbie's special friend this has got some writing on the cover um, and yeah a couple of these books they've got like a red tick throughout so it's like somebody is learning how to read or something and they've ticked once it's been read I'm not sure but some of the pages have ticks and some don't like these ones don't have ticks um, but that's in pretty good condition apart from the ticks in red pen so I don't really like those but I thought I'd get them anyway in case Pam didn't have any so and they're only five for a dollar so 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 cheap Alibaba and the 40 Thieves and that one doesn't have any writing in it at all and it's got the person's name there it's in pretty good condition for its age the pokey little puppy pretty sure Pam's got these ones so I really got these ones for myself um, and where is the pokey little puppy so I can do some journals on those 
airplanes this one looked really old as well and it's even got like the black foiling on the left and you can just tell by the images how old it is this has also got the red tick on some of the pages which is annoying but you know as i said you're welcome to them ham if you want otherwise i'm sure i'll use them or re-donate them this one is the sailor dog i think it's more of a newer little golden book because you can see on the left there the spine is a bit different and it's more modern this one doesn't have the name in the front and it's in very good condition the shy little kitten this this is a cute one i wouldn't mind doing a little golden book um, alteration on this one because you know, as I said, I'm hugely into cats. Oh, so, so cute. And this one, how cute is that pussy cat? It's got some pen mark on his chin though. So I don't know if that can come out or not. And oh, we've got the red tick on this one as well, which is a shame because this would have been a really cute little book, especially with the cute um, ginger kitten. Yeah, very, very cute. Tiger in the grass. So that's the little golden books. Um, these handkerchiefs for $1.50. Um, it says cotton, made in China. And I just got these for my journals. They're always good to have as um, page flips or little pockets, little corner pockets. I'm just trying to find the opening oh they're different colors I thought they were all blue so I like the blue so you've got blue orange two orange three orange and four oh that's deceiving so they pop a blue one on the outside and then the rest is orange very deceiving I liked the blue ones the most but yeah I'm sure they'll get used it's a very thin kind of handkerchief material so it'll be nice and flat to use in journals and the last item which I think is one of the coolest items that I found is this little baby album and it was only two dollars and it's a fabric cover which is really cool and it's got this kind of patch on the front um, so that's really cute and it's obviously for a little baby boy because it's blue and the images in here are just so cute like have a look at this watercolored baby image and it's not been written in oh by the way there's someone's little baby hair in there i don't know how i feel about that but yeah i'll have to burn that or something get rid of it but how cute is that little chicky and that little one my weight and length so I thought I could use these pictures in my own album, even though it hasn't been used. Oh, cute little kitty cat. Even though it hasn't been used, um, I wouldn't use this just because it's been, it was somebody else's and um, yeah, I like to do my own type of thing. And if I were to use it, I'd want it to be brand new. But these pages are really good. They're nice and thick and they've each got this like, um, really thin piece of paper kind of like a vellum covering it so this is definitely a baby scrapbook photo album that you could pop all of your photos in here and there's so many different pages it feels like good quality paper so I might even try stamping on that it could even be good for watercolor um, it's got a bit of a texture to it and they're really thick so yeah that's that's a really good buy for two dollars and it's got all of the pages in it so that's my little first op shop haul for the year. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know what you think and thank you so much for watching. Bye.